Hey guys, in today's video we're comparing the Soldano SLO30 to the Astro20. I've gotten many requests for this video and since I have both of them in the studio it's an obvious video to make. And I guess the main thing that people want to know is can the Astro20 sound like the SLO? Or how close can the Astro20 sound to the SLO30 and what makes them both unique? And today we're going to try to answer those questions. Now the Astro 20 is definitely a different kind of amplifier than the SLO 30. The SLO 30 is a bit more of your traditional Soldano SLO amplifier, obviously, in terms of the sound and features as well. It's a 30 watt amplifier, obviously, with two 6L6 tubes in the power section. With two channels, a normal channel and an overdrive channel. The normal channel has a bright switch and you can also set it to the crunch mode so it has a clean and crunch mode. There's a shared three band EQ and each channel has its own gain and volume control. And in the master section, you have a presence and a depth control. And that's basically it. So it's not a very complicated amplifier. Now the Astro 20 is a bit more of a modern and advanced amplifier, but it's just a 21 amplifier with two six V6 tubes in the power section. Now, one of the cool things about the Astro 20 is the flexibility in terms of the channels how you can assign different gain stages to the drive channels and stuff like that. And it basically has three channels. You've got the IRs, the silent recording, the galaxies, the programmable foot switch and all that good stuff. Now, for more information about this amplifier, do check out my in-depth review, which I've also posted on the channel recently. And also keep in mind that the SLO 30 is quite a bit more expensive than the Astro 20. Over here in Europe, I think the Astro 20 costs around 2,300 euros or so, give or take. And the SLO 30 around 33 or 3,400 euros, give or take. So there's roughly a difference of about 1,000 euros between the two. Now today we're gonna compare the clean tones, a crunch tone, and of course a high gain overdriven tone. For all the tones in this video, the amplifiers will be fed through my RED7 amplification amp central reactive load and through the same Ohnhammer Rockbox IR the V30EN1999A speaker option with the Modern 3 mic mix. First, let's compare the clean channels. And for this purpose, I'm gonna use my ESP LT Phoenix Deluxe 1000 with the Fishman Fluence Modern pickups in it on the neck pickup. And uh, yeah, let's take a listen, check it out. interesting so they definitely do not sound the same for the SLO I had the bright switch on by the way and with the Astro you get sort of three settings for the bright switch so off a medium setting and then the maximum setting and I had it set to the medium setting so that's the left position and I think I also had the depth switch which also has three settings to the middle setting so again the left setting I really like both here, but I think that I do prefer the Astro for the clean tones. It just has a very lovely chime going on. The SLO basically sounds a little bit more raw and pokey, but it's also a very nice sound. So it's very much a preference thing. And even though the Astro 20 does not have a three band EQ on the clean channel, because it has the volume control and the tone control, as well as the bright switch and stuff like that, you can still get a wide range of tones out of it. 
So yeah, again, I like both, but for the cleans, I do prefer the Astro 20. Now let's do some mid-gain crunch tones. For the Astro 20, I'm gonna use the gain one channel on the purple galaxy. And for the SLO 30, I'm gonna use the normal channel on the crunch mode. And the guitar that I'm gonna use here is my Gibson Les Paul Standard 60s with the Seymour Duncan JB in the bridge. Let's take a listen. <laughs> So that was nice. They both sound really good here. So for the SLO 30, again, the normal channel in the crunch mode, but I did have the bright switch turned off this time around because it was a little bit too strident with this particular guitar. And yeah, they both sound great. I think the SLO has a bit more of a raw and wild and sort of uh, unpolished sound to it, whereas the Astro 20 sounds a little bit more polished. But I think you can't go wrong with either here. They both sound killer and kind of similar. So in this case, I think it's hard to pick a favorite, for me anyway. Now let's go to the overdrive channel for a high gain tone on the SLO 30. And then on the Astro 20, I will go to the Red Galaxy, which is the mode with the most amount of gain on this amp. For this comparison, I'm going to use my Gibson Les Paul Custom on the bridge pickup. Let's go ahead and check it out right now. interesting and again they don't sound the same that's for sure they do have their own character going on they both have that soldano character going on that's for sure and i like how both the amplifiers sound here and the slo 30 has a lot of low end even with the depth control halfway so it's really big sounding amplifier in fact it sounds way too big for a 30 watt amplifier and for the Astro 20, I did have the depth control set to the right, which is the most extreme setting. So for the low end, this amplifier is basically maxed out. Whereas with the SLO, there is still some room for extra low end. So the SLO definitely has a lot of low end authority. That's for sure. Let's also check out an isolated comparison of just the guitars. Check it out.
So again, the SLO definitely has a bit more of a raw sound in comparison to the Astro 20, which does sound sort of a bit more refined. And I think that the Astro 20 also has a bit more of a compact and sort of British sound to it, with a bit more of a sort of forward mid-range going on, which I usually associate with British or Marshall amplifiers. So to me anyway, the SLO 30 sounds a bit more fat, big, and American. And the Astro 20 is a bit more compressed sounding, I guess. And that could be because of the power section. You know, this amplifier obviously has the smaller 6V6 tubes with a 20 watt rating. And this one, of course, has the big 6L6 tubes with the 30 watt rating. So they both sound great, but I don't think that the Astro 20 can do the exact same sound as the SLO 30 can. It all comes down to personal preference, of course, and to what sort of headroom you need, because this will obviously have a little bit more headroom. I guess you could say that if you want that raw, pure and sort of classic Soldano experience, the SLO would be the best app to get. However, the Astro 20 does get in the ballpark and it does have that same sort of vibe going on, but with a different flavor, basically. But it does have a lot more options with the channels, the galaxies, the IRs, the silent recording, the foot switch and all that good stuff. So a summary for the clean tones. I do prefer the Astro 20. Just sounds wonderful for the crunch tones. I really like both and it's hard to pick a favorite. And for the high gain overdrive tones, I do prefer the SLO 30 myself, but that's just my own personal preference. Your opinion may be different. So I'd love to know your thoughts as well. So let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite and which one you'd pick and why. And yeah, this was a lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed it too. So that's all for this video. Please drop a like and subscribe as that really helps the channel out. I usually appreciate it. You can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Cheers.